Combinatorics is an entire branch of mathematics. It's also fun to say. Combinatorics, combinatorics, combinatorics. In regards to poker, combinatorics refers to breaking down ranges into individual hands instead of hand classes. Let's look at the history of poker learning. If putting your opponent on a range was the first evolutionary step from the archaic I put you on ace king way of thinking, then using combinatorics to actually break down that range of hands is the next. It isn't enough to just think of ranges. We have to understand the frequency of each hand within that range. Combinatorics may seem more difficult than it really is. It can sound like complicated math to figure out on the fly, but those rumors are untrue. Much like learning the odds for a flush draw on the flop, combinatorics will soon be instinct. Let's start simple. How many different ways are there to have six, seven suited? If you said four, congratulations. How many different ways are there to have pocket queens? Use your fingers if you have to. There are six possible combinations of any given pocket pair. What about ace-king or any non-pair holding? In total, there are 16 possible combinations, four suited and an additional 12 offsuit combos. That's the base knowledge needed for preflop combinatorics. Six combos of each pair and 16 combos of each non-pair hand. With this foundation, we can count the number of whole card combinations on every street. Consider holding pocket aces and facing a pot-sized bet on a board of 98233. If her range is a flopped set or jack 10, do we call or fold? We need 33% equity against our opponent's range to call given her pot size bet. That means for every two hands in our opponent's range that we lose to the sets, we need to beat at least one. So pocket twos, eights, and nines is three to just one jack 10, right? Not so fast. We can't just look at the hand classes. We need to look at the individual combinations. So how many sets does villain have? Given there is already a two, eight, and nine on the board, fewer set combos are available. Three of the four nines remain for our opponent, meaning she can now only have pocket nines three different ways. The same for pocket twos and eights, three combinations of each possible set for a total of nine. Given our opponent's nine possible set combinations, we need at least 4.5 bluff combos in her range for our call to be profitable. We're getting two to one, so we need to win one third of the time. If our opponent only plays the four combinations of Jack-10 suited, then we have a fold. But if our opponent plays all Jack-10 combos, then we have an easy call against her 16 bluffs. Perhaps we don't know how many combos she plays. If we only give our opponent a 50% chance of playing each individual combo of Jack-10 offsuit, that's still 10 combos on average meaning we'll have an easy call here with pocket aces. Combinatorics is rooted in knowing the quantity of a preflop holding, applying those combinations to your opponent's range all the way from preflop to the river. This gives us the clearest vision of what hands are more likely than others.